Well, one member of the gorgeous royal family, the other two are really spectacularly hidden. And we have managed to shuffle around a little bit so that we can bring you this spectacular view of the front of her face. And she's enjoying a little bit of rest and sleep, panting heavily. It is hot and she's obviously exhausted herself. Luckily, she's right next to Twin Dam, so there's plenty of water for her to go and quench her thirst when she's ready. Oh, we can see another cub. We can see one of her cubs. Dave actually spotted it, which was very, very well done to Dave. We knew that they were under there. We could hear them crunching and we could hear the leaves moving on within the tree. But there you go, there's one of the little royal cublets. I'm not even sure which one it is. I uh, honestly can't tell you. Sorry everybody, I'm just listening to the game drive comms and what is happening there. There you go. All right, everything all sorted out. The reshuffle has been done and everybody's got a nice view of the leopard. Well, one leopard anyway. Lou says her money is on Hosanna feeding. My money's actually on Chungile. It was a bit difficult to tell in that tiny patch of spots. Should we look again, Dave? Who do you think it is? I think it's Shungile. I've got no idea why I say it's Shungile. I can only see the back of one ear. But for some reason, my money's on Shungile. Who do we think this is, everybody? Can you tell? Oh, Dave. I think we might be mistaken. Had a brief flash of an eye. Come on, little leopard, turn your head. Perhaps Lou is right. Perhaps it is the male cub with the voracious appetite. No, we can't change our mind. We'll have to stay with our original answer. Stanley? Good question coming through from you. You want to know whether predators are more likely to hunt during sunrise or sunset? Probably sunrise, although not by a particularly large margin. The only reason I say sunrise is just because often at sunset things like lions are generally only just getting going. Whereas by sunrise they've been moving throughout the night and they've been searching for prey. And they'll be hunting throughout the night. So at sunrise, by the time the sun's coming up, they might be more committed to actually their full hunting efforts before it gets too hot. Leopards, oh, leopards any time of the day. Honestly, I've seen Karula kill an impala when it was a 30, over 30 degree day. She just came out of nowhere. So leopards are impossible to predict, although they generally do most of their moving around sunset and sunrise. Cheetah, again, late evening or early morning it's impossible to say wild dogs exactly the same they'll go to bed as soon as it starts to get dark as will the cheetah and spotted hyenas at night i'm not sure if we could say sunrise or sunset it's difficult those two times are pretty evenly matched in terms of whether or not the animals are out hunting there's not much in it for the various predators but of course remember it's pred we're talking about mammal predators here Diurnal predators that are, are bird-based or avian diurnal predators will hunt during the day mostly, rather than at, at sunrise or sunset. Snakes will wait till it gets warmer, and they'll spend... Often you encounter more of them around sunset, just because they've had the day to warm up and gather energy. 